All right, thanks, Joe. Flags are flying at half staff tonight on the day funeral services for Senator Joseph Lieberman. Lieberman was a strong, uh, strong in his convictions, but respected for his civility. There were many important political leaders there, including former Vice President Al Gore. Chief political reporter Susan Raff was at today's service in Stanford, where hundreds gathered for a final goodbye. Susan. Brian, when you looked at the crowd today, it was hard not to notice how many top elected officials there were. And it was also very clear on how much of a mark Joseph Lieberman left in Connecticut and around the world. And when it came to politics, Lieberman certainly had his differences, but it was hard not to like him. It took a while for everyone to get into Agudath Shalom. People came from all over. Senator Joseph Lieberman served Connecticut for 50 years and was active in politics until he passed away this week. He was an incredible competitor and uh, he loved uh, politics, but he always had the class and distinction, you know, to uh, go across the aisle. A lifelong Democrat, Lieberman became an independent. And while that alienated him from the Democratic Party, it didn't upset friendships. We laughed together, fought like hell together for what we wanted our country to be, prayed together, thought for a season we had won together, but... <laughs> and... When Al Gore ran for president, he chose Lieberman to be his running mate. Lieberman was also the first Jewish candidate on a presidential ticket, but he created controversy. He supported the war in Iraq and endorsed John McCain for president over Barack Obama. Another friendship, this one a bit more contentious, was with Governor Ned Lamont. They ran against each other in 2006 for Senate. It was a pretty nasty race. But today, some laughter. And he loved to sing Frank Sinatra tunes. And you can imagine his favorite was, I did it my way. <laughs> uh, he did it his way. He never quite fit in that Republican or Democratic box. I, um, I think maybe in an odd way I helped liberate him because when he beat me, uh, beat me pretty good, by the way. Today's service was held at the same synagogue where Joe Lieberman was bar mitzvahed and where he married his wife Hadassah. And coming up tonight at 6, Lieberman's closest friend and former colleague Chris Dodd explains how working with his Jewish friend had different challenges, especially on Saturdays, a day of rest for Orthodox Jews. Live in the studio, Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.